Welcome everyone to Expansive Trader, where we learn to manage our mindset. In the last video, we talked about edges. In today's video, we're going to talk about growth mindset. So there is an aspect to learning that's psychological in nature. And over time, we've been so conditioned, it's been pounded out of us to have a growth mindset from society, from school, from just the world we live in here in America. The growth mindset is not valued. You know, the process of learning, it's not about getting all A's and 100% no mistakes anywhere. That's not, about, that's not how we learn. You know, learning is trying something and making a mistake and failing and trying to get learning from that failure, coming back stronger. You know, they say winners are not people who never fall, but, but they're, they're people who never quit when they do fall. You know, they do something, they fall, they fail, they get back up, they come back stronger. But school does not allow us to do that. It doesn't teach us that. It says, listen, you need to get A's, you cannot fail, you can't make mistakes, it needs to be just so. And so it just kind of gets ingrained in us over time, and this is why people are afraid to try new things. They're afraid to take risks, calculated risks. They're afraid, they don't want to fail. They don't want to fall because that has become their paradigm, their belief system, that it's not okay to do that. But that's how learning takes place. So they have not cultivated a growth mindset. So anytime we're learning something new, we, it's, it's uncomfortable in the beginning. It's, it's uncomfortable. And what I want to show you is there's the comfort zone. There's the comfort zone, which most of us are in, almost everyone is in that comfort zone. You know, they get up, they go to work, they do the same routine every day and it's comfortable. There's really no growth or learning happening there. Then the next one is the fear zone. And you know, some people will step out of the comfort zone and move into the fear zone, but they pretty much quickly go right back to the comfort zone. They remain who they are. After the comfort zone is the learning. The learning zone. And that's even bigger yet. You've got to get out of the comfort zone into fear, and then you've got to go past that to learn new skills, new things. And eventually, after that, is the growth zone. You've learned something and you've grown into something greater than you once were. Now, I don't know if you can read that, but it says growth zone. And so the point I'm making here is it's okay to try things and fail as long as we learn from that. And it's, it's, it's good to know as we try new things, as we fail, it's uncomfortable, and that's okay. You know, being uncomfortable, there's value, there's virtues in that. We've talked about quantum physics on this channel before. And the law in quantum physics says everything is energy and everything is moving. Nothing is, re you know, we live in an ocean of motion, nothing rests. Nothing is ever standing still. And so if everything's always moving, we're either creating or disintegrating. We're growing or dying. Nothing stands still. So if we remain in the comfort zone, we're not creating, we're disintegrating. That's how energy quantum physics works. That's a, that's a quantum physics law that decrees that. 
You know, energy can never be created or destroyed. It's always moving into and out of form. It's always moving. And so if we're going to stay here in the comfort zone and not push ourselves into an uncomfortable territory to grow, then we're disintegrating. Create or disintegrate. Okay, so I wrote on the board here, fixed mindset versus growth mindset. And so I want you, as we go through it, think about yourself. Which one are you? And you know, we go in and out of, of both different types of mindsets for different areas in life. But in, in the aspect of trading, which is primarily what we talk about on this channel, think about what mindset you're having. So let's go through the fixed mindset first. You know, if you have a fixed mindset, which most people do, they may not think they do, but they really do, because it's ingrained in us from school and from the society we live in, they will think and believe that their intelligence and their skills and their abilities are fixed. They can't change. And here's a good example of that from school. Uh, when you were younger, have you heard of talented and gifted? It was this program in school. You started early in elementary school or, or middle school even. And, and it would say, you know, you're talented and you're gifted. You have a high IQ. You're smart. But it actually really doesn't mean anything. What happens is the other group of kids that are not in that group, they start to believe, okay, well, if they're smart, what am I? And you see, it puts them in this box, this belief, this belief box, this prison of their own making that says, all right, I'm not intelligent. And so it just, it is what it is. And that stays that way. You know, my third grade teacher told me it. And so now I'm just not smart. Fixed mindset. Because of school and our upbringing, we People with a fixed mindset fear making mistakes, so they don't even try new things. They stay put. Fixed mindset. Also, they're always trying to prove themselves. And so prove themselves, what do you mean? Prove themselves to others. Justify. Because you can't look bad. Social media taught us that. Look, you can't look bad on social media. That's been, the last decade has been really heavy for that. And so if school is teaching us these things and social media is reinforcing that, this is why most people have a fixed mindset. Now, the flip of that, the growth mindset, which is where we want to be, you know, if we want to be consistently profitable traders, which is what which I do, and I want to have a career trading for the next 20, 30, 40 years, I'm growing. My trading skills now, though they're incredible, they will grow and expand over time because I have a growth mindset. So what do people with a growth mindset believe? They believe their intelligence and their skills and their abilities can indeed change. You know, the brain is plastic, neuroplasticity. They believe they can change it through effort and learning and hard work. They can change it. They also believe they view mistakes as nothing more than learning opportunities. Edison, who invented the light bulb, supposedly, I don't know if it's true or not, but he found 10,000 failures not really. It was just 10,000 ways that didn't work, which led him to the one way that did work. Each, quote, failure was a learning opportunity. He learned something from that that helped him go on. And growth mindset. They do it for themselves. They're not trying to prove themselves or look a certain way. They're doing it for themselves. So they're going to put in the early mornings and late nights and on the weekends and they're going to do the work and they're going to learn because they're doing it for themselves. And so that's sort of the difference between a fixed and a growth mindset. Where are you? Where are you on that spectrum? And it's okay wherever you are. Don't judge it. Just become aware of it because awareness is the catalyst to all change. 
In fact, awareness is 90% of all change. So if you're a fixed mindset right now, don't judge that. Become aware of it and know that the brain is changeable. It's malleable. Neuroplasticity, the brain is plastic. You can change it. And now that you're aware of that, you can do something with it. Okay, I want to write one more thing on the board. I'll be real brief because we've covered it many, many times. But these things fixed in growth, they're just beliefs. Now we've talked about the five fundamental beliefs for trading. We've also talked about limiting money beliefs. Whatever beliefs you have create your reality. Because remember, top of the food chain is beliefs which drive your perceptions, which drive the, the way, the thoughts you have, which drive your feelings, which drive the actions you take, which drives the results you get. And so if your belief is that your intelligence and your skills is what it is, it can't change, you're going to act out of that belief. And as we've talked about extensively, exhaustively, and we continue talking about it, you can change a belief. It's just patterned energy. But you have to become aware of the fact that you have the belief and have a wantingness and a desire to change it. You have this belief, this is the one you want, and you know how to change it. Hebb's Law and Repetition. If you need a refresher on that, just watch the videos. They're on the channel. That's why I made them. Now, I'm going to do another video right after this one on growth mindset. Because now we know fixed versus growth mindset. Why don't most people change it? Why don't people do it? And there's a physiological and an evolutionary reason that makes it so challenging. Aside from society and other people and everyone around you, do, 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 they don't do it either, and they also have a fixed mindset. There's actually biological reasons that make it challenging to do. Not impossible. Nothing is impossible. I'm possible. Nothing is impossible. So you can change it, but it can be challenging. And again, becoming aware of why it's challenging helps you navigate through that. Thank you all for being here. I hope you have a great day.